it's the smaller buck, the big eight, and now the ten is walking to your left. Ready? Yep. Alright team, turn! Take me out on the water. We fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Lynch of McGuanago, Big Snow Resort, Hard and Soft Fishing, Suzuki, Wings Over Wisconsin, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Kamik Law Firm, Kamalon Measuring Tools, Vexlar, Deep Freeze, Cold Snap, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Outdoors. Holy moly. Good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. I'll tell you what, this week we've got a very interesting show. What ended up happening, I sent half the camera crew out to Kansas to do a little gun hunting with our good friends from Bartline Barrels and hunting with Upland Raid Outfitters in Kansas. And I'll tell you what, the Wooster boys really put them on some deer. Stay tuned and see what happens this week. Came in from the east. Yeah, he was a lot closer than, than this is to us, but the sun was shining through the window. There was quite a glare. I had to wait till it got all the way around the edge of the field. I took the best shot I could. And hopefully, we'll find him right now. This morning, we were sitting in a box blind on the side of an alfalfa field. We had five does out in front of us. He decided to come out in the field and check them out. It took a while to, for the right shot to present, him, present itself. He was about 200 yards away. And uh, the rest is history. I'd just like to thank uh, Upland Raid and Outfitters for all their help and putting us on this great deer. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors Ice Fishing, a full service guiding ice fishing adventure. We supply all the equipment and provide a hot meal out on the ice. You just need to arrive with a Wisconsin fishing license and get ready to catch fish and have a great experience. We guide seven days a week, are fully insured, use the latest tested tough gear, and will work harder than anyone to put you on fish. To book a trip, please call 920-361-4996. The new Acme Rattlemaster has a built-in echo chamber with a brass rattle that calls fish in. The body's solid brass too and won't bend or dull and reflects fish attracting light all over the water column. This one-two punch of sight and sound means you drill less holes because fish come to you. Jig it, rip it, or shake it for crappie, walleye, northern salmon, or trout and experience multi-species action with just one bait. The warrior story continues with the best tracking, driest ride in the industry. Designed with a high degree of dead rise and bow flare to push water out and down for a smooth, dry, comfortable ride. The smart trolling keel limits bow drift for enhanced boat control in the wind and with a lifetime haul warranty, warrior boats are built to last. 
Warrior Boats, a legend reborn. Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. Well, I'll tell you what, it certainly didn't take Andy very long to bag himself a trophy whitetail. It's amazing the quality hunting that these Wooster boys have going out here. Hey, stay tuned and let's see what happens with our good friend Todd on day number two of the Kansas hunt. Okay, it's day two of the hunt. The weather's a lot better day today than it was yesterday. The wind is a lot calmer, a lot cooler. We're at about 15 degrees yesterday. We're at 29. So hopefully this will Is a seven, the left side has three or four. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all-new Lynch McQuanago dealership.
The brand new Lynch McGuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre-owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. From the equipment we use to the clothing we wear, the developments of modern ice fishing technology only serves to make the time we spend on the ice with our friends and family more enjoyable. And there's one product that has stood the test of time for over 30 years, and that's Vexilar, the most trusted name in sonar. Three generations of ice anglers have been using Vexilar technology, and Vexilar continues to earn the respect of anglers all across the ice belt. Time to create your own memories. Visit Vexilar.com. At Jiffy, we pride ourselves on being number one in developing the best propane drills on the ice. It's why our engineers have worked side by side with anglers for 65 years running. All built and tested right here in the U.S. of A. Patented proven performance is Jiffy's vision for the future. And from where we stand, the future looks pretty darn sweet. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. Badger Sportsman Magazine, Wisconsin's premier outdoor magazine. Fishing and hunting in Wisconsin, written by outdoor enthusiasts from Wisconsin. Each issue features timely fishing and hunting articles from experts across the state. Badger Sportsman Magazine will help you make the most out of your time in the woods or on the water. Subscribe to Badger Sportsman Magazine today. shooters and we're hoping to see one tonight and take my buck tonight. We walked up and we saw one buck and three does out in the field. So hopefully tonight's gonna be a good night. Drilled him. He's down. He's going on. Wasn't this big? 
think it's the one this morning. But I, I think it's the same one. You think? I think so. Come on. He's just as, he's bigger than his body. <sighs> we had a 10 and we had a nice eight come out just before. And I hit it in hard according to my camera guy. Okay. I bet you that 10 pointer that was out there was the one that was yeah. in the woods this morning. It wasn't as wide as we think. Let's see, uh, where was he? Let's go. Well, we saw this dandy. I passed on him this morning. because I saw a 10 pointer that I thought was bigger, bedded down by probably 150 yards away. And uh, he was, this guy was 70 yards away. And I got a lot of heat when I got back to camp, I'm not taking them. And uh, tonight we sat out and uh, I saw the 10 pointer and guess what was right behind them? This beautiful eight that I passed on. Shot was about 250 yards away. And uh, I drilled him, but he went a long ways. Tough, tough animal. I gotta thank uh, Upland Raid for uh, um, a hell of an experience. It's been a great time. I get to shoot a doe yet. I can't wait. Oh, I don't know what to say. Larry Smith, how you doing, buddy? It's a great day to be alive. <laughs> I can't believe, Todd, you let that buck slide by you twice already, and finally it got to you, and you finally ended up shooting that giant eight-pointer. I'll tell you what, definitely a great night to be alive, and what an awesome animal. Hey, we're in the Shotgun Kitchen, Steve Schaefer, special guest, Larry, the owner of the show, Smith. We got a deer here. Hey, it is deer season, you know what, and I'll tell you what, Schaefer, you know what, a lot of people, including myself, are really not that, I've cut a lot of deer up over all the years, but I'm not sure if I'm doing it the right way, so I'm interested to see how you're going to cut this hind quarter up here. Okay, I took it, you can see the big knuckle right here for the hind end, yep. you take that and cut it right off the deer. Okay. This is... When you stand up, this is the butt, you know, right. one side, the tail's here. This chunk of meat is huge. So I take and I just find, I find every single seam that I can. Just take the knife like through there, yep. loosen it up. Because people, you take your deer in, you're, most of the time you're not going to get your own deer back. So my wife and I, we have a system. I go out in the garage with my son, I quarter it, skin it, bring it inside. She does all the prep work like this. So you can see where it just breaks right through the different sections. This is your big roast right here on top. Okay. This one I'm breaking off. This so one. how many roasts will you get out of a hind and how many steaks? Uh, Any idea? No, there's a one big slab on the other side. Okay. This is your main chunk of steak right here. I mean, we can get that off right away because yeah, I know I'm going to cook that. The, I'm going to cook that up for you guys for when you're guiding this week. Okay. They'll be happy about that, yeah, Chuck, this, and I'll tell you that. This, Nothing better than fresh venison. And guys, if you do have a bloodshot spot on a deer, don't lose no sleep or you just cut it off and wash it out. It, it's not going to hurt you. I mean... It, you're doing it yourself. That's the main part, prepping it all yourself. And if you get, and you have a problem with a deer lure, I don't know if anybody knows the secret. A butcher friend told me this. See, there's no hair on it. Right. You take your little hand torch you have out in the garage for like lighting fires and stuff. Yep. Go over it real lightly, burns the hair right off. That's you don't what know we hair. do the yes, same you do thing. thing. Right. Okay. This fat, just get rid of it. See how I'm showing that big, huge bone? Yep, cutting right around that. What is that bone called, the big one in your leg? The fever or fever or fever or whatever? I forgot what it's That's called. That's a fever. That's something yeah, the, you get when you uh, spend too much time inside. Fever. The fever, right. I think it is. I should right. know that. My wife's a nurse right. or was a nurse. Maybe we should bring her in here <laughs> yeah, and she can. No kidding. Look at now, here's your other little inside roast. I mean, there's nothing to cutting up a deer or hindquarters. And I'm looking at the clock and we're at four minutes and I got this thing separated up. From the shotgun kitchen, people seriously take a few seconds. I put a garbage bag down so I don't get hollered by the better half. Right. Cutting board, sharp knife, it's done. Like I say, it was less than three minutes I had this thing. That's pretty impressive. 
Thank you for coming in today. Big Snow Resorts, your destination for winter family fun in the north. Enjoy two resorts on one ticket. With over 400 skiable acres, it's the largest ski experience in the Midwest. Full service resorts offering pro shop service, hotel, chalet, and trailside condo lodging, six dining facilities, four bars, and with weekly special events, exceptional fun for everyone. For details, please call or visit BigSnowResorts.com today. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jigging or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. Ice fishing just around the corner, it's time to gear up. Check out the new Pro Skimmer by Deep Freeze. Offered in 6 inch, 8 inch, and 10 inch models. The fastest ice skimmer on the market. And once you're ready for those tip ups, don't forget about Blue Tips. The first tip up alert system sent straight to your smartphone. Free app available on Android and iOS. Check out these and other products at deepfreezefishing.com or any of your favorite retailers. It's about 8.30 now uh, on Saturday, and things have changed here. We haven't seen a deer yet. Uh, it's probably the longest I've gone since I've been in Kansas without seeing a deer. Uh, weather changed a little bit, too. We got some clouds. In fact, we have a lot of clouds and uh, traces of snow in the air. Temperature's around 30 degrees, but the, the trick down here is patience. That's what I've been told. So I'm just going to sit it out, and I'm sure things will pick up as the day goes by. Uh, it's been a great trip so far. I've seen almost 100 deer in three days, so I've had a good trip already. And I passed up uh, passed up some pretty good bucks that I maybe normally would have shot, but I'm not down here to shoot the average deer. So if I go home with nothing, I'll be happy. <laughs> but I don't see that happening because we still have a good day left. Three does. Don't to fawns or don't to yearlings. This looks pretty good, or it doesn't it? I think that's a 10. That's a 10. That's a nice buck. Yeah, he ain't gonna stop. He stopped right now, with his head down. Okay, he just turned back to the left. He's looking straight at us. Okay, ready, whenever. Oh, hang on, he's still right there. Yeah. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Okay, get ready, he's still right there. There you go. Did I get him? I think so. Hang on. I don't know. I think I was low. Hang on. I see him wiggling his tail. Yeah, yeah. Yep. He's in he's slightly in the woods. Hang on. Does are still out there. If you want, go ahead and get the dough. Still, hang on. The one on the left. It's the bigger one. Yep. She's the one looking away. There you go. You got that one. Yeah. Well, it's five minutes after my last interview here in uh, 
things have de de definitely picked up here in Kansas. Uh, patience was the word, and patience paid off. I got, got the shakes a little bit. Uh, some does came out, and Brad spotted them, and uh, with a buck right behind him. And uh, I was fortunate enough to, to get a shot at the buck. And I shot twice. Uh, Brad thinks he's down. I'm hoping he's down. And uh, the doe is down for sure. And uh, things got exciting real quick here. So uh, if that's the case, I will be buying Brad a steak tonight that he's because he spotted those deer before I did. Um, so, Lord Wellen will have venison when I get home. Oh yeah. Oh, holy crap. Oh, first my son. You got popper? Yeah. Yeah. Go up there. That's a Jim Dandy there. Yeah, it is. Nice. Uh, this morning we got out here in the dark, uh, about 6.15 or 6.30. About 8.30 we saw some does, which is actually late for uh, the hunting I've been doing. Um, uh, we've seen over 100 deer in three days, so it was a little slow this morning. But uh, Brad, cameraman, spotted three does or four does across about 200 yards out. And this buck, he uh, wasn't actually chasing them, but he was uh, following them. And they stopped, and I, got a sh I missed the first shot on the buck and hit him the second shot, which was fortunate because he stood there. <laughs> Uh, I shot the doe right after that, and uh, that was about it for this morning's hunt, which is very fruitful, as you can see. And I'm happy to be here with uh, Upland Raid Outfitters. Uh, the lodge is a nice place, and uh, they're very much family. I've learned that from being around them a few days, which is big in our book. And I'd like to thank Tracy and Luann, Luann Bartline also for making this possible for me and my son. Uh, and I'd like to just wind up by saying, it's a great day to be alive. So we're just finishing up the, the first week in Kansas for the, the rifle season. And as you can see, we've taken three three really good bucks. Uh, the Bartland Barrels guys have had a, had a great time. We've had a great time uh, this week, showing them a good time. So these, these deer are probably some of the best deer that a few of these guys have taken, and we couldn't be happier to be a part of it. If you guys would like to check us out, we're at uh, Up and Raid Outfitters on Facebook, and upandraid.com is our website. We'd like to thank Bartland Barrels for coming out and um, sharing this week with us, and we'd like to thank Larry Smith Outdoors for putting the production together. Boy, I'll tell you, one of the coolest parts about this hunt is that Tom and Todd, father and son duo, got a chance to spend the week together out there in Kansas, and they both killed two amazing deer. And I'll tell you what I have to say to them, congratulations on the, on the hunting out there. I'll tell you what, that's what hunting's all about, building memories and spending time with family and friends. And what a great day to be alive. I gotta thank Bartline Barrels too, right here. Thanks, Trace. Fresh eggs. <laughs> you know what? He actually ended up shooting that same spot that Andy shot his giant. Todd. 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 Tom and Todd. Todd. Tom and Todd. Todd and Tom. Todd. That's all from Kansas.